This is a 52 volt battery pack that I built to power an e-bike externally and after I had it all together I had my sense wires put on however this BMS turned out to be faulty and it's of no use now so while I wait to get another one because I don't have one I used the pack once I had already attached these sense wires to it and I used the pack once and then recharged it it's a 52 volt pack and as we'll see when I used it once came back and checked all the cells uh, the first three were a little bit lower than the rest of the cells in order so I thought it'd be nice to start balance charging it right off the bat but how am I going to do that with no BMS and this is what I'm going to attempt to do so I've looked around to see what I can find that might help with my project and I found I had these little I don't know if that's a JTS because the ends of these two wires are tinned and they're about the same gauge as the sensor leads they plug straight into the flat cable JTS end nicely and then what I'm going to do is I can connect that and with the other end of this I took a 18650 charger and I want to be able to use this to balance charge each cell so I took the back off of it and um, <clears throat> I don't want to be what I find is if you pull these apart you've got springs popping out or it's hard to re-establish the connection with those two points anyway so what I did was I just put a, a cell into it and then I went on to the back and you take a few educated guesses and it looked to me like it was probable that this could be the negative output here and that this would be the positive here and that confirms that I've got the same voltage as that 18650 cell so those must be the two points and then if you want after that you can take the battery out put your multimeter into continuity mode and then you can uh, just confirm that you've got continuity between those points confirm you don't have a short between them and you should be all set to solder your wires from here onto here and when you plug this in plug that into there you should be able to charge that bank of cells So now I've plugged this in, I've got my back put on to the charger, I've got this lead coming out with those two soldered on, and when I check the output with the multimeter, I'm not going to fiddle around, it's a bit fiddly, but I get the appropriate charge voltage. So the next step is to take my battery pack and I've checked that already and I'm getting four volts on that particular bank so now I'm going to plug that in start the charge process and you can see now my charge light confirms it's gone to red and it's charging when that bank is now up to speed I will move these two wires over one set of cells and do them in sequence. I believe I have three that I want to bring up to about 4.2. So that mod took maybe me half an hour in total and I was lucky that I had this particular little setup for the connector leads. However, 
any any wire you could just tin the ends and plug it in and uh, you could even fashion some sort of alligator clip system to an existing charger you have for 18650 cells you could do a mod like this you can just use your imagination but you probably have some method of coming up with balanced charging your pack without the BMS or a hobby charger of course a hobby charger won't do a 52 volt pack like this anyway so I'm put back here to doing this this is one way of balance charging your battery pack if your BMS breaks down and you're waiting for a new one the trick is when you're building your battery pack make sure you put some sense wires coming out that you can access after the fact so there we have it took the first cell group we did almost two and a half hours to bring it from around 4 up to about 4.2 however remember they are 21700 cells and there's two of them so that would make sense for putting something like that if we equate that this charger is normally for an 18650 now we're going to move on and do the next bank all right sorry but she who must be obeyed is put on ed sheeran and she's practicing her dance moves for the christmas party which means it's time for me to get out of here and go for a bike ride and as you can see it's been going for almost what two and a half hours and that second bank still is showing red it would get there eventually but i need this battery so i can get out of here so i think we'll assume that that third bank will take almost the same and we're looking at six to seven hours to balance out just those three cells it is time consuming but it's doable and i guess if you're doing something else at least you don't have to sit and watch it it's like paint drying okay thanks for watching